Zach's interview. Okay, Zach Hoffmeyer. Can you state your name? What do you What do you think about uh, Tyler's rig setup that he has going on right over here? Bizarre. But a nice. He sprung for the tilt rig, which is which is clean. You know, it's it's clean. It's nicer. It's also like four times as more expensive. Right. Small rig. But would you say it's more worth it? It's worth it to spend the extra money. You're gonna have to make a it? real no, convincing argument. Oh, okay, okay, well, okay. No, <laughs> it's a rig. That's, it's, a rig. Okay. it's a rig. It's a rig. It's a rig. I have a little road mic and a, a tripod, and that's Tyler. Give us. Tyler, it doesn't. Tell us about your rig real quick. Um, so it has a V mount battery. This will last about three hours for me. A uh, pull focus is just with the rings here. So I, this is really weird how it is, but usually I go like this, but I don't usually have this put on. I bought this specifically for a four pound rig, for a four pound lens that was a zoom lens. It was the Daiso film 55 to 125 lens. So I bought, I got this stuff specifically for that lens. It's actually a really good lens, but I would never probably pay for it because it costs like $200. Yeah. 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 Like, share money and buy robbing spree. On this bitch. Hello. So, like, what's your experience with this documentary class? What are you, what, what, what are you trying to achieve out of this? Um, I'm excited to do some Dunville history stuff because I want to use it for possibly a capstone idea I have, which is right. kind of seeped in like paranoia with the idea of like these transitory towns that can exist and, and move on without people really paying much attention. Um, like a town that exists for a hundred years and then nobody, there's all that's left is ruins, unmarked ruins. So okay. I'm kind okay. of excited to do that. Beyond that, journalism is cool. Can you show us what, what's up with the, the camera that you got? That you're using? This is my, the Fujifilm X-20 with fake blood on it. Um, right there. Um, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at the, look at this. Look at this lens. Look at look at this lens. Look at this. Not me. Look at this. Look at this lens. Look at this lens. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. It's great. It's really small. Um, the battery is tiny. Look at this. This is the battery. It doesn't last any time at all. Uh, but I have two, so that's fine. And they cost sixty dollars. I should have thought about that before I bought the damn camera, but I like the camera a lot. I like the silver. Honestly, I mostly got it because of how it looks, and also that it can film in 4K and it fit all the requirements for the Photo 130 class I was in. It's interesting because the the like T series, the XT series, was not meant to be like a flagship like series that they would come out with a lot of cameras for, but at this point they just released the XT5. So the estates of the world are going up because of inflation. Um, I heard estates in China are, are doing badly, like the. I think in China are bad. Well, the housing market stuff, like the economy on the housing market, because there's a bunch of contractors that said they build houses and they're not doing it. So, I don't really know, though. I'm not Chinese. Cool camera, camera, cool, cool camera, camera, cool.